speaking that it's Olympic year, man, you know they about to, not they about to, they have un unveiled the USA Nike uniforms. What are your takes on it? Let me take you back first. Before I give you my take on that, think about this. When I was an athlete, and when you, when you go to Olympic trials, one of your thoughts in your mind is, I want to make this team so I can be one of the first people to wear the newest Olympic uniform. Because it's going to be cutting edge, you know, scientifically, but also just like, ain't nobody got this. You're going to be one of the first ones wearing this. So throughout my career and all my Olympics, I've loved each uniform. They've been amazing. They've been the next step. When people see it, they're like, they want it. When I saw the unveiling of this uniform, <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the unveiling of this uniform, I saw it on social media first. <laughs> and it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't a part of an official page. So I actually thought it was like a prank. I had to check the calendar to make sure it was April 1st. I was like, man, this is a joke, right? Like, this, this can't be the uniform that they're going to run for the next four years in. Because that's what happens. Remember, this uniform is going to be the uniform they run the next four years in. I, I, I think, <laughs> I personally think that they dropped the bag on it. They dropped the ball when it came to this situation. They should have put more money into it. They should have put more effort into it. The font across the front looked like it was just a simplified font. Like, I'm just going to pick any font, put the USA across the front. Um, color's okay. But when you look at things like the women's bottoms. <laughs> oh, there was a lot, there's a lot of women who chimed in on them bottoms, boy. <laughs> what, what did they say? I read one comment. The woman was like, the man who ever made this, after he put it on, then he could ask the women to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> long story short i feel like this team usa uniform has definitely missed the mark for sure um they could have did a better job with the font um i feel like they just pieced together some of the some of the, the material that they have for previous uniforms and then they just threw some color on it and they just went with it now the crazy thing is nike is the sole sponsor of making these uniforms for these athletes. Not just America, not just Team USA, but you're going to see Kenya, you're going to see Germany, <laughs> you're going to see any country that is sponsored by Nike going to wear these uniforms. That's, that's how it is for Puma, too. So when they unveil the Jamaica uniform, you're just going to see that same color wave for <laughs> Trinidad, Bahamas, <laughs> and all the rest of the other Caribbean countries. It's just, all they do is remake them into different colors. So You're you right. know, it's like it's like designing easy. You make one design and then you copycat that boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What's your thoughts on it? What's your thoughts on on the uniform? Uh, my thoughts is 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 I, I don't know because what what you just said you know has some 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 validity to it. It was like, it's looked like they took some of the old uniforms and put them together. But what if it's, what if the artist or the person who did it was like, this is paying homage to the past. And that was like, the, that was their thought process of why it looked like it's pieces of the old uniform brought into 2024. Well, then you got to give me a backstory when you bring, when you rep, <laughs> when you bring this and roll it out, you got to have a quote or something like that that goes with it. Because right now, it just looked like y'all just ran out of time. Y'all just started putting things together to hit the deadline. That's what it looked like. Have you ever met one of the designers? I wonder, I wonder who are the designers. Not to, to get them, like, any type of hate or anything. But I, I wonder if anybody met somebody who would be like, oh, yeah, I designed that uniform. You know I what have, I mean? I have not met any of the designers of the Olympic gear. I've met Nike designers before, but I've never met anybody that designed the Olympic gear. I think we all are curious to see who designed this Olympic uniform. <laughs> and see the women out there. <laughs> Boy, the, they, they, they are complaining that that cut is entirely too high. And they, they, they are up in arms, boy. If you read the comments on some of them things, those women are going. And these like regular, regular women. These not athletes. These are like, who they think going to wear this? If my baby was in the Olympics, she would not dare. <laughs> she would not dare. <laughs> It does not leave a lot to the imagination, sure. <laughs> and for those women who decide to wear that cut, that aggressive cut, I call it aggressive cut, <laughs> that aggressive uh, couture cut, they got to make sure they bring an emergency bottle of Nair with them because you're going to be gone a good two weeks strong. So 
that that regrowth going to definitely come back. <laughs> hey, that, that's probably like, you know, like you said, Couture, it's Paris, baby. You know what I mean? Fashion capital of the world. Fashion I don't capital. know, man. <laughs> I don't know. The fun thing is, you know, when you look at something and you see it, but it makes you feel uncomfortable, even though it has nothing to do with you at all. Like, that's what I feel when I see that cut. I'd be like, that made me feel a little uncomfortable, dog. Like, you about to get out here and run for your life. You know what I mean? I don't think going to be moving. <laughs> you just hope you just hope you go viral for winning, not for anything else. Oh, yes, please, please, <laughs> please, man. 